This is Flosso's Magic Shop in New York City, a den of mystery that's belonged to magicians for nearly 150 years. Harry Houdini had the place for a couple of years back about 1919. Uh, Magicians flock to Flossos to buy and exchange tricks and to hunt for magic memorabilia. Here's an item collectors would kill for. This is Harry Houdini's trunk that he traveled all over the world with. The trunk is not for sale, and neither are the priceless items inside. Houdini's handcuffs. Uh, plug eights, that's a plug eight. Houdini memorabilia is worth serious money, like the scrapbook of his challenges. Escape from what we call a sea bag, which is made of sailcloth, broad belting straps, and, we use, and was used in olden times to restrain the mad with grog sailors or mutineers on the high seas. Houdini posters now fetch as much as $2,500 and have been increasing in value every year. Collectors also like posters depicting Howard Thurston, the elegant Cardini, and they also seek out historically interesting tricks and apparatus made by master magical craftsmen. The collectors go crazy over things by fail. Years ago when the people would come off the ship in Ellis, in Ellis Island, there were people who would sell them the money-making machine. And that's how they thought they made money in America. You take a piece of paper, roll it through, and out comes a dollar bill. If you're looking to start a collection of magic and can't afford Houdini, don't worry. Even unknowns appreciate and value quickly. And mementos from today's big stars, David Copperfield, Doug Henning, will become tomorrow's gigantic collectibles. The Siegfried and Roy and things like that, they'll become legends in their time also. So if you go to Las Vegas, get their autograph. <laughs> That's your money. Deborah Marchini, CNN Business News.